Welcome back, everyone, to Pathologic. We are now packing heat. Okay, it's not... It's, it's the tiniest gun on the planet, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, I got I ditched the black vaccines. I don't need them. Between Isidore's medicine... I'm sorry, between Artemi's medicines and conventional... Um, the conventional... Uh, the, immunity boosters I'll be able to get my hands on those were worth more to sell than they were to keep especially now that I am armed ho 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 I have a machine gun okay more like the tiniest pistol on earth I'll avenge you workman But now that the plague has come, I have far more vectors for gaining reputation. I can help people. Um, surely out of the goodness of my heart. And while I'm in the neighborhood, I can buy some twi- I cannot buy twirene. I spent all my money on guns. Well, maybe I can buy some twirene anyway. And trade it to Ruben for one of the randomly selected uh, infusions he has. I might need it later. You never know. Whose child was crying there? I've talked to Olgimsky, Zana. And pray tell, what are they up to? They're not the ones plotting against you the canes. Anyway, they've both been distracted now. Got themselves a boogeyman that's scarier than you. Ah, a boy named Khan is who's sending you the threats. I wonder why. So that's how it is. Now I understand. Now I can see the whole picture. That is the point. Now I realize. Woe is me. The ever unlucky artiste. I've played the part of a villainous all too well, and now no one is going to believe that I am what I really am. Thank you, my dear. Now I know which direction to expect danger from. Do you agree to answer my questions candidly and without prejudice? I do. Why didn't you? Let's begin then. Is it true that you're a kidnapper of children, a criminal from the caravan? It's not true. I've never kidnapped a child. I was myself kidnapped at a very young age. Not literally kidnapped. My ending up there was more of a mishap. Uh, A mishap? Why? Because I'd been born ugly and mute. No one would play with me. And I couldn't even say mommy. All the while dreaming of becoming a real singer. I thought they'd teach me to sing at the caravan and make me beautiful. How would that be possible if you were mute? They had sorcery in their blood. They made strange stage artists out of children like myself. Nothing came out of my singing in the end, but I did become a true caravan girl. A malicious, obsessed troll ruining children's lives and souls. It so happened that I was already here at the time. Um... So you were a failure as a singer. How did you become so beautiful? They fed my, me egg yolks and oysters and made me drink lemon juice. Put a special toad on my chest so that it absorbed its miasma. It didn't work. Then they decided to make me a figurine, but then there was a raid and we got rounded up and near Orv and I escaped with a snake charmer named Var. He carried me out. And why were you the reason the pestilence broke out? They'd betrayed my parents. I'd taken someone else's voice, someone else's hair. Then when I was already here, I acted the same way the caravan's leader would. I was hungry. So I lifted all of these things from the willow girl, who then died. It was she that used to be the golden hair singer. And that's when the plague broke out. How is that even possible? As a punishment for my greed, Willow Mellow had predicted that it would all turn out this way if the caravan got here. She'd even been stockpiling medicine. The stash was all hers, actually. All this time I've been waiting for my punishment. I've twisted my nature so badly I should have remained a cripple. Who was this Willow? She was nice, a real baby doll, but I did to her the same thing the caravan had been doing to children. Ground her into flour, unwove her into threads. I don't even know how I did it. You're mad, aren't you? I suppose I can't expect to ever be forgiven, can I? Too big of an honor for you. Having an entire town perish because of your greed? No, it wasn't your doing. 
What should I do with the dreadful Anna? She's not the one to blame for the pestilence, but this doesn't make less or less of a monster. Directly or not, her demented passions led her to kill Willow Mello. Shall I condemn her, or shall I let her live? Father must know of my decision. He can know about the justice, but if the question is, did she cause the plague? The answer is no. Only in her own imagination is she the cause of the plague. Give me the twirine. Mm, down to 26 rules. Rumor has it, Simon. Don't grin like that, it's not for me. Jesus Christ, never mind. These are all awful. I'd rather train the I'd rather trade the Twirene to Patrolman, quite frankly. <laughs> 39 health for 30 immunity. Girls gotta have standards. And like I don't know, I could I could trade anything for that. Like at that point I might as well start using alpha or beta tablets. Criminy. That's okay, I'll make it. I'm made of wood. I talked to Anna, some neighbor you have. Not you, we. Do you still think of the rod as your home? Tell me, what is your verdict on Anna? She's innocent. Are you sure? I'm sure. Who is guilty, then? I don't know. Are there no more bad people left in town? Don't you want to know who caused the disease? Be watchful, Clara. Careful you don't let a criminal walk free. The entire town will slowly be consumed, while your mercy is keeping one villain alive. Only the truth can prevail. <laughs> oh... Quit your belly again. My reputation is still fine. Not sterling, but fine. But, yes, it's clear to me that... The, yeah, as I said, Anna might think she caused the plague, but there's just... There's no correlation. There's no causation there. Hmm, I can't hear any screaming. Nothing. Maybe I can find a sick person in one of the homes. No, then again, my reputation isn't so low, so maybe I shouldn't focus on that. Well, I guess I should go back and talk to Ava again, and talk about The Bachelor and how he's... N Girl, that man's no good for you! He's a piece of shit, he doesn't give a shit about people, he'll turn on you the minute he's got the opportunity. And then she looks at me, Razor Girl Wedding style, and just says with a blank expression on her face, But I love him. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry, I couldn't. Uh, let me try again. But I love him. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay. Oh, hoo -wee, 37 rubles. Oh, God, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die cold and alone. Oh, maybe I should have got some better prices for those black vaccines. And maybe I should have seen what Andre had to trade before I bought that Twirene. Eh. Money is not too difficult to get. I say that, but I need to remember I'm not playing as the either the two Chowderheads this time around. I'm playing as a fucking child. And, uh, no, money is not easy to come by. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Twirene sells for much more outside the bar, I think. So it seems. And I guess I didn't get too bad prices on those black vaccines. I only lost 30%. Who am I kidding? I say 30% out loud and I'm just like, oh god, no. 
Um, yeah, selling the knife sounds like a good idea. I'm not gonna buy any alpha tablets, but I will buy some more Meridorm. Two bottles of Meridorm should be enough to allay the suffering of anybody I encounter. Oh, very lot, a lot of very plain gentlemen, plainly stumbling around. Oh my, sorry. Uh, the clouds have made it very dark out, and it's nine in the morning. So, I was not expecting such shade. I, uh, I feel glad that I turned the lights on. Do I have clothing to mend? Why are you in so much pain? I think even Simon would have been powerless too. The most horrible is yet to come. Aww. 26 rubles to mend a little sheet. Oh, I want to buy sewing needles. I might be able to afford three needles from our dear tailor. I should have been buying them earlier. Oh, well. Drop the ball. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello, dude. What's up? Nice try. <laughs> Hell yeah, now I can absolutely afford a bunch of sewing needles. Give me that shit. Give me that shit. Ooh, disposable gloves. Mm, I'll take it. It's not great, but oh look, 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 I, I have a little I have a little protection. Look at my tiny protection bar. Look at it. I'm glad that I accused Khan directly instead of the rest of the canes. Makes it clear that it's a caravan issue. Yeah, and it, 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 it's clearer to me now that some of the caravaneers were very dark people. But the way they kidnapped, like, they weren't running around kidnapping children that way, but they would certainly let anyone Okay Why? Why is that there? What the fuck game? Yeah, it's, it's clear that their their kidnapping of children was not as malicious like if you're a kid and you're like I want to join the caravan they're like sure get on kid it's also clear now that VAR was not as villainous as originally suspected and again we know how he treats his daughter it's fucked up Hunchback the weird dude very emotional fellow. Mm. Nice. Godspeed, dead dude. Couldn't save him. Seeds of the caravan. As dreadful a person as she is, she's still she is still little more than a child, whose own naivete only serves to make her too fretful for her own good. I do not have it in me to condemn her. Let them turn their suspicious glances to me. Let them think I may be an accomplice. Still, I'd rather let her redress whatever harm she has caused. So, all of the people who are suspect are Clara's bound? As 
ever, the children disobey their parents and cause mischief. Do you hear these silvery tinkling things on my chest? They're not keys, they're not bells, they're my hooks. Now tell me about the bachelor. Um, so, uh, right, yeah. So, uh, Sabarov keeps pointing me towards my own bound. And I know that if you, um, agree to condemn them, they become sick. As they get completely neglected by the civic structures. Um... So, in order to keep them safe, you have to take on their guilt. The right way to play is to become a martyr. Eva, oh Eva, I know of you this. You love the bachelor more than your own life. Will you agree to touch me, to brave the depths, to answer my questions candidly and without prejudice? The moment his boots stepped on the dusty soil of our roads, the moment he took a deep breath of our air, the moment his shadow fell on the cobbles of our town, I knew that my life had changed, and that it was approaching its acme. He has come, and now I live for his sake. He's not like you. He's a cold-hearted demon. He came here to witness a genuine miracle. He believes that he will find here what he would have never have found at the, cha at the capital. He had been searching, and lo, fate brought him to my door. He's better than anyone who ever walked this earth. Because there's a great chasm between you and him. Is it that great? Not really. He longs for miracles. He needs living evidence of the impossible. Yet was this not what I used to brood on daily and nightly? Was this not the reason I shed so many tears over our useless cathedral? Look at me, Ava. I can work miracles. I can sense their nature. Mark my words, neither you nor he will get any miracles for as long as you're expecting them with such greed and entitlement. Why? No, Clara, you didn't see what we saw. You're being too serious. Those who watched Scarlet and Nina build the town, who watched Simon play with our children, would never say it's futile to demand a miracle. One can, in a way, one must. So that's what the utopian false doctrine looks like. It certainly is beautiful. Did you call my words a false doctrine? Um. Believe me, it's because of teachings like these that the disease has struck your town. For as long as the town's afire with this naive criminal and greedy hope, you will go on suffering and dying. I know it. I am the harbinger. They say you're Katarina's foster daughter. Can you see clearer into the future than she? I can. Will you take care of him when I die? Maria lets slip that he has three days left to win. It's a commitment he is bound by. I will have to give my own life, if so he may survive. This will be a fitting sacrifice for of the true teaching. You don't have to die. I'll do everything myself. Sleep and listen to what I tell you. He says we have to fight. To hope for the impossible until the very end. He's the only one who'll do the fighting, not you, eh? gentle Ava. Sleep. Poor girl, so in love with her own dream. I can go back to Katarina now. Jeez, six in the morning, and I'll be done with all of my all of my chores. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> it's... Ugh. Oh. It's interesting to be able to speak with such confidence about things that I already know. Because you have to have had played the game as another character before you can play as Clara, you can say in confidence that you do know the future. You do know what's going to happen. You have, in fact, seen it. Fuck yeah, video games.